have to do is preheat your oven to 250 degrees. Is you need to buy a large box of Crispix, a large box of Cheerios, large uh, rice checks, and a large box of corn checks. And one pound bag of rolled gold stick pretzels. Next thing you do, make sure you have two very large roasting pans. And you put half of this bag in this container the bag in this container, and then half of the box of crispies in here, and half of it in here. Make sure you save the boxes and the innards in the lining. Half of Cheerios, another half of Cheerios, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. why you need these big, big, huge containers. Now, you need six, six cubes of butter, because three cubes of melted butter is going to go to one pan, and the next cube, three cubes, will be in the next pan. And you'll heat this in the microwave for two minutes. Make sure you keep it covered. Two minutes. Okay, now that the butter is melted, I'm going to add one tablespoon of salt, regular old salt, and one tablespoon of garlic powder. And then I stir it up, try to get it all melted, you know dissolved a little bit. Then you're going to pour this butter mixture, mixture uh, over the Chex mix, just half of it. And you're going to have to use your spoon. And now we're going to stir it. get this all stirred up this first time then we'll put the rest of the mixture over and there's quite a bit of salt and garlic powder left so you really need to stir it um, a lot because it's going to come out big chunks at the end you can also put nuts in there too right if you like yeah if, if people prefer nuts instead um, of pretzels like me Denny doesn't like the pretzels, but my entire family likes the pretzels, so my <laughs> my children come first. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's always been that way. Always. Happy. Anyway, you just stir it up. And then I'm going to do the second one the exact same way. Melt the butter. Put in the tablespoon of salt, tablespoon of garlic powder. And um, make sure your oven racks, <clears throat> the oven racks, are separated enough to where you can put both of the containers in there. So right now I'm going to put this one on the bottom and then the next one will go on the top. Okay, for the cooking, make sure once you put it in, you put your timer on for 30 minutes. And every 30 minutes, you're going to stir up the container. And this whole process uh, is two hours. So right now, it's 11, almost 11 o'clock. So this will be done at 1 o'clock. So four times you got to stir Yeah, it. so four times you'll be stirring it every 30 minutes. And then that's it.